the book Gilead by Marilyn Robinson kind of lacks plot. It's a letter from a man who's dying to his young son. It's his reflections about his life. He's a Protestant pastor in a small rural Midwest town. I read this on vacation after I had just moved out of a small Midwestern town and was really burnt out. I was struck by the tension I felt reading this book because of the flawed character of this pastor. I guess the other characters, too. It's not clear whether he's supposed to be good or hypocritical or a mixture, and I think that's the point. It helped me realize that people are sometimes good, but also horrible and selfish, and, and they don't mean to be, but it's inertia. It makes it really hard to change that, even if you kind of realize it's happening. It's thought a lot about courage in my life. I love reading books where there's heroes who fight to the end and display huge acts of courage, and I want to be like that, but I'm not. I'm quiet, and I like to follow the rules to navigate life. And the pastor in this book seems like that path of least resistance. And at the end of the book, though, he talks about courage and how it ultimately seems to take the form of doing acts of forgiveness and generosity in the face of old prejudice and hurt. Because... The overwhelming desire, then, is to be complacent and selfish and bitter. To overcome that is really courageous in its own way. So I'm I'm sitting by this lake on vacation, finishing this book, and tears are just streaming down my face because it allowed me to finally come to terms with the inherent selfishness in people and myself. There were people in my life who I needed to forgive And there were still ties to that old Midwestern town with its religious rigidity, and I needed to find peace. I needed to be generous with those people for their selfishness. This book just allowed me to come home in a way. This old man who had done the righteous thing his whole life but was hurt by a lot of people, and he hurt a lot of people. And sometimes he tried to be kind, and sometimes he didn't try very hard. But then we came to realize that showing generosity and forgiveness and letting go is the ultimate act of courage. Sometimes you're still not sure if it's enough, but it's the only step you have in front of you to take.